Good morning. I wanted to share some scripture with you this morning and want to be an encouragement to you today. In Psalm 91, the entire passage is such an encouragement for us as believers. And I want to be an encouragement to you today in reading this passage. Uh, Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome, noisome pestilence. That word pestilence is actually the word deburr, the Hebrew word deburr, which means uh, it means destroying plague. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him <clears throat> and show him salvation. Hey, in these days of isolation, spend time dwelling in that secret place, abiding with the Lord. Spend time reflecting on God and who he is and what he's done for you. Spend time reading his word, time taking time praying. Meditate on his goodness to us. And then share that goodness with others around you, what the Lord has done. Be an encouragement to one another and others, and share the gospel with people. It's a wonderful time of the year, the year to think about, even this time of the year with all that's going on, to share the gospel message. All these are ways we can abide with him today. Have a great day. May the Lord bless you.